Okay, well, I have figured, uh, I turn on the camera. I'm going to get a new toy today. Yeah, I've done a lot of research on weapons I was looking to buy. And, you know, only a couple of them really struck my interest. You know, I was always doing research. You know, I narrowed it down to one of, say, three or four weapons. Uh, two of them were actually going to be in a one or uh, different uppers for an AR-15. Another one of them was going to be a handgun, and then the third one was actually going to be a shotgun. And well. Yeah, I narrowed it down. Um, so I figured I'd at least turn on the camera and show you where I'm going today. You know, I'm technically at work, but my boss does not need to know about what I'm doing right now. Uh, so, I know you're looking at the top of my windshield light, but it's not a pretty sight. But, uh, anyways. Like I said, I figured I'd turn on the camera, let you see where I'm going, and, you know, maybe do a little bit of a talk. You know, like I said, I was interested in doing a couple different weapons. You know, I was either looking at a, at getting another Glock, and by all means, you know, I'm not like one of those people where I don't like Glocks. I own them. You know, I like the way they feel. You know, it actually feels real good in the hand. The next weapon I was looking at getting was the Caltech KSG, which is their shotgun. Well, at that one, again, I say, you know, it's another one of those weapons that, yeah, it's nice to have. But at the same time, it isn't. Yeah, how many shotguns do you really need in your house? In my case, I think I have a few. The next weapon I was looking at getting was the FN 5.7 upper for the AR-15, which would convert my AR-15, or at least one of them, to a... FN 5.7 or 5.7 by I think it's 28. And then the third weapon, or then the last weapon I was looking at getting, well, it was another AR-15 upper, but I realized that I was going to have to convert a little bit too much. And I ended up settling on a different toy. Um... This one it has, has a nice little price tag to it. And, you know, it is an AR-15 based weapon. You know, it's, I don't have to do any modifications, you know, or nothing like that. So, you know, for me, it's going to fit my bill, but for others, it may not. You know, I mean, yeah, I was reading up on this one, but, you know, I wanted to see how it was going to perform. And, you know, I'm not like one to just go out and buy something just for the sake of buying. I wanted to see what it was going to do, something like that. Uh, I am going to have to do a little bit of a modification to this one to make it legal in the state of Connecticut. Uh, for those of you who own AR-15s or, or a rifle at that, you know exactly what I mean. Um, you know, Connecticut has some really fucked up laws. I'll be completely honest with you. You know... They are 
yeah, they're nice laws, don't get me wrong, but they're not laws I really particularly enjoy. Yeah. If I want to have a flash suppressor on my rifle, I want to have a flash suppressor. I don't want to have to go out and buy another, or buy a $600 freaking special, or a special serial number to be able to have a flash suppressor or a bayonet lug. You know, to me, that kind of defeats the purpose of having a weapon. You know, it's... Granted, yeah, it is nice to have them. And, yeah, I'm just like anybody else. Yeah, I like my toys. And for those of you who know where I am, this should not come as a shock for you. But for those of you who don't, that's another one. Uh... I don't know, hopefully you guys can actually hear me over the radio. I've got it set pretty fairly low. So, like I said, I'm about two minutes away from where I gotta go. I'm gonna leave my camera on as I pull into the parking lot so you can actually see where I'm going. But, like I said, for those of you who don't know where I'm going, you're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, the old 1911, you should know roughly where I am. You've been here once or twice, I believe. I know one of my friends has been up here quite a few times. And I'm actually doing some side work for him, so... he's He already knew about what I'm doing. You know, he's already known what I was looking at and he's the one who primarily talked me into it besides reading it and reviews and whatnot. You know I've I was talking to him about it and like I said we I was really running down my options. You know the reason why I stayed away from certain calibers that I did well, the FN57 is a pistol round. You know, you're gonna have great knockdown power in the beginning, nothing after 100 yards, or not a lot at least. The second weapon, the 12 gauge, again I say, great knockdown power in the beginning, not a lot at the end. Unless you're gonna be running like slugs or something like that, which by all means, I enjoy, but I don't. Uh, then the 500 Bayou AR-15. Wow. Well, again, I say. Uh-oh. I think we're here. Oh. Well, anyways, I'll kick on the camera a little bit later on. And we will go from there. All right? You guys sit tight. I'll be back out in about 10 minutes. If I'm lucky.